Welcome to another Age of Empires 4 casted game. We got the color blue playing as the Chinese. We got Demo from Team Liquid. And the color red playing as the Holy Roman Empire. We got Minato with a beautiful golden statue here. So it's been a while since I recorded the video here. Uh, the reason is I, I traveled to Japan and for those of you who don't know, I live in China, so I was expecting to see kind of like the same things, you know, uh, both countries come from Asia, very similar cultures, very similar, uh, like, you know, food, people, whatever. It's very different, very, very different. Uh, I find Japan to be uh, quite different from China. So uh, that was a pleasant surprise for me. Uh, I expect to see the same in the in the in the expansion when Japanese come out <laughs> very very different from uh, not only from Chinese but from uh, every other civilization so far really hasn't disappointed yet. So we got this map four big ponds of water. Actually, it's such a big water. Only four deep water fish. What is this? I wonder if it's even worth it to go here. Uh, looks like it is, like it's 1,000 foot each. Uh, so, both players opening with a, with a dock. I'm gonna put this thing here so you can see how, how many villagers they have. Especially if you wanna learn something, it's usually a good thing to watch free plays, see how many villagers they have uh, at each time to see how they allocate their resources. One thing about Age of Empires is that Allocating resources, it's a big thing. Whereas in maybe other RTS, RTS games, it's, uh, it's more of a manual thing. But allocating resources here is like really, really, really important. It's the core of the game. So we got bot players trying to to get some some fish. Ah. For those of you who are wondering if, uh, if you should go water or not, uh, the answer is for most of the time yes. Uh, it's like acts, this acts like a you know like a second town center, in a way that you can produce if you consider those ships as a villager, and you are also producing villagers here, your dock will act as a second town center. Not only that, but the ships gather food much faster, so. It's a really, it's a really, really important investment to have whenever you have water. It looks like at the beginning you are behind, like you see, we're already three minutes into the game. Both players is still far from aging up. Even the Holy Roman Empire, which is a civilization that age up really, really fast, uh, they still prioritize the water so that they can, you know, uh, get the best outcome. Uh, you reap the benefits of water way later into the game where your food economy it's it's way higher in the water and you can allocate more resources uh, and allocate be like to other resources that are you know maybe gold or wood or stone whatever uh, so what you got here the good thing about chinese is that that imperial official with which will supervise this so you should have a pretty high income here 404 whereas the well they get uh, these guys get inspired you know where's the prelate there, there you go it's like inspiring everyone going from here to there because the chinese is like more like inspired they're getting supervised uh, different ways of getting things done i guess we see minato trying to go for the dock in the north them would just be a little bit annoying with the scout I find whenever it's like a whenever you have the chance to annoy the opponent just take it right like why not I I'm sure demo already have seen what he has to see he doesn't need to scout more areas so he decides I'm just gonna annoy this guy um this is very annoying maybe he doesn't kill the villager but he needs to come back home and he also got the and the sheep here next to the base this is quite quite annoying now we see demo 
for signs of aging up. Both players with a really nice food economy. We see Minato going for the Iron Chuckle. Uh, let's talk about the spot of this Iron Chuckle, mostly for wood. It will be nice, like, uh, maybe if you have it here, you have the deer, you have the wood, you have the gold, gets, everyone gets his fire. Or at least here, you got the food here, you got the, you got the gold. But you know, having the Iron Chuckle in the back, it's, it's not a bad choice, I guess. I mean, these are the professionals I use. That's why I'm just a commentator. Meanwhile, Demon aging up with five villagers, the Imperial Academy. Uncommon thing for Chinese to to age up with with five. Usually you age up with one to to gather more resources. But I guess with the water opening, things change quite a bit. Now both players are aging up. Minato. Looks for signs to be in Castle Age really, really soon. Very, very soon he will be in Castle Age. Meanwhile, no army for both players. A very, very passive game. It's like basically fishing simulator. Got double products going on for demo. Got more, got more wood. So far, no upgrades for Minato. I'm sure he's prioritizing his aging now. Meanwhile, in demo space, so far, he decided to not go for the Song Dynasty. For those of you who don't know, if you go, the uh, Chinese can create two uh, landmarks. And if you create two of them of the same age, you go to a different dynasty. In this case, you will go to Song Dynasty, which will give you uh, more villager production speed. Which is very common to see as Chinese, that's one of their main strengths. I wonder why he doesn't go there. Maybe he wants to go Castle Age to, to deny the relics from Minato. I'm talking about relics, he's not very interested in relics, he's going for a Borgrave. Also known as the Burger. Interesting choice, it's interesting choice here. Meanwhile, Demu going for the Imperial Palace, also very interesting. Uh, not going for the astronomical clock tower, not interested in siege yet. Now, Scout being chased by the horseman, should be able to take him down. Aging up, going out very, very soon for both players. It looks like them will age up soon. And with Imperial Palace, if he click on this, he will be able to reveal the location of all workers. Which I think he has now. Yeah, he, he did for a second. You see that you saw the ships there, then you stop seeing it. And we, we will see a lot of Palace guards joining, joining the party here. Interesting choice because the men at arms from the Holy Roman Empire are quite strong, quite quite strong, and, and these guys already have mazes here. Have the maze upgrade. This these guys are quite heavy. Meanwhile, here they just have less armor, but they're faster. And you can see how how fast they are. Are you talking about how much speed? 1.38 versus 1.12. It's very, very, very good, very good. I've got the first encounter here. Palace guards going to follow the monk. Trying to ignore the man at arms here. Should be able to take him down. And now another prelate here. Should be able to take him down again. Horseman trying to be annoying here, but enough palace guards. Should be able to clean this up. Now we got four barracks for them. This is a man at arms, <laughs> man at arms battle. I love pal palace guards. It, I think it's one of my favorite units in the game, along with Mangudai with the Mongols. It's just such such a cool concept. Like they are fast, 
they, they are like cheap uh, it's like good rating unit uh, pretty good overall and well both players uh, pretty much almost equal numbers of military upgrades going on for demo this will be very very important you need the upgrades for the man at arms because without the upgrades they're quite weak as you can see we don't have the the double range armor only one of them so it's you cannot dive in the tc like this they're gonna die quite fast quite fast but you see them sending palace guards everywhere that's what i love about the chinese you can just send these guards a lot because they're they're just so cheap you know they're 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 just really cheap unit you go here it only costs 100 food 25 gold and then you can just uh spam them all over the place whereas the knight a little bit stronger but they cost way more gold so second range armor going out for demo it's gonna focus on the dogs if you if you focus on the dogs then he won't be able to have his food economy we got without his food economy he won't be able to uh, to sustain uh, his protection for the man at arms a really really nice call from demo but now minato trying to stop the raid here like a pretty equal matchup yeah but should be able to clean this up but the the palace guards are gonna be very annoying they take down the port and now they're going for another place and because these guys are faster uh, man at arms won't be able to chase them that that's that's the problem here but actually these man at arms with uh they they, they start uh, they, they're a little bit faster than normal because they have the you know the the upgrade for the called the roman empire and now then we're just gonna be annoying in the base and well we see palace guards everywhere in the map you see here guarding the relic you see another here guarding this relics and it, it shouldn't be too long until we see demo also going for its own monastery to get to get the relics himself that's the best way to deny them it's like to just get them faster than him and now right going on here for demo now we're having a big villager a difference here 75 for demo 45 for minato he's he's been losing a lot of villagers i really enjoyed this uh this style of of the of the chinese is really macro focus you just send the palace guards let them do their own thing and you know they they will just clean everything up we don't see any other unit here this is crazy like six barracks six barracks this is like this is the man at arms only fight <laughs> for both players oh trying I'm trying to wall up but unfortunately he won't be able to get any unit meanwhile pallet guards trying to guard the this area uh, very very nice choice remember he has the imperial palace he knows where he is so he, he cannot really uh, there's no no place to to guess where, where the enemy is and now minato trying to get into the base forcing the palace guards to stay in demo's base <laughs> imperial official trying to run for his life this guy is quite expensive you don't want to lose it well here palace guards gonna, gonna be annoying should be able to take this dog out and the problem with minato he don't have much military upgrades for from the blacksmith i will see the keep going on here to protect this stone and the deer this is still the only man at arms challenge i've never seen anything like that is the Chinese man at arms, which is the palace guards, against the against the Holy Roman Empire man at arms? 
really interesting, very, very interesting. And now you see the Giga Chat keep, probably the strongest keep in the game. It is, I think, the strongest keep in the game. Uh, just because they have the cannon splits in placement and they just shoot like a machine gun. Now Minato, see what's going on in his base. I'm trying to mix a little bit of horsemen here, but it looks like he didn't produce any of those. You know, he stick to the mana arms only composition. Demu going for the relics, but a little bit too late. Minato already got all the relics, three on his base, two more to come. Should be able to get this one home really soon. Meanwhile, going for the gold pain here, the south, mana arms, take it down some buildings here, to be, these guys are really really hard to deal with, but now they move, going to make some crossbows here, that's definitely the right call, he's, he's gonna, he's, he's gonna need more than a mana arms, or well, palace guards to deal with those. Well, it's been 16 minutes into the game, man. So far, we had a only Man at Arms fight composition. And now more raids going on. Look at this, guys. He's so strong. Like, almost like four hits and they can kill a villager. More raids going on here. Then we will stop his gold production, but luckily for him, he has a lot of gold in the back. This typical demo, I've, I've, I've noticed that he always likes to have more gold than, uh, than what he should. It's, it's like it's like it never hurts. It never hurts to to have more gold, more gold than what you should have. You can always use gold, like upgrades, aging up, just pretty much everything. And you see, deep water fish almost depleting here. That will gonna be a problem. So this means them needs a farm transition quite soon. Minato sitting with four relics in the bank. Five to be able to get one soon. Now the banner arms numbers are are increasing here. That's a good thing, they can run faster. Even against Holy Roman Empire mana arms. They're they're just so fast. And these guys are already pretty fast for mana arms, but these guys are just like they're really, really, really fast. It well, looks like no crossbows have been created for them. It's like the mana arm only challenge. And you also got the lunch. I don't know how to how to say this, but basically it's area damage. Now more raids going on here. Minato trying to fight desperately for the water, but then it's just so annoying so annoying with with the palace guards he doesn't have any room for for fishing here and these palace guards are just everywhere minato was able to clean this up oh no this is not finished yet very unlucky. But Benato should be able to clean this up. His mana arms are stronger. They're just slower, but they're stronger. This is a mana arm first. I never seen anything like that. Sacred Sight going to capture in the south for Minato. They just don't care. Like Crossbows? Who needs crossbows? Talking about crossbows, we did the first crossbows going out for Demu. Two more in production. There you go. And you got the astronomical clock tower going out. This means he will be go to the Yuan Dynasty. The Yuan Dynasty will allow Demu to basically make everyone faster. Let's just see how this guys run for a second. We got 1.38 tiles per second. Now you will see when this finish how fast these guys are gonna run here. You will see very very soon. 
Do we, do we have another Man at Arms running here? Do we? We don't, we don't have any other Man at Arms. Oh, there you go. Now we have it. 1.58 tiles. Almost like a horse here. These guys are just so fast. Look at that. They just don't care now. I just like, I'll see you later, mate. Now crossbows are being added to the mix. Horseman, why not for Minato? Sigurd victory approaching for Minato. It looks like it will be very hard to defend. There is no other structure here. Raids going on. In demo space. <laughs> I'm so glad I picked up this game. It's so interesting. I've never seen anything like that. It's like pure infantry fights. No siege. No archers. No horsemen. Just fist. Punch and fist only. Like. Now. Demo will secure this area of the map with a keep here. This will leave Minato with only two gold veins. And there's, these are small ones. This is a big one. So you want to get those one, That one. And now with this area secure. Should be able to keep securing the rest of the areas. Manadarms keep being annoying. And Minato taps out. <laughs> GG. And this was Age of Empires 4. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.